What's up guys, it's your boy XP Mods here and welcome back to The Walking Dead Final Season Episode 3 and this is part 3 so we just gotta do this Looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here. your name, Ruby's Revenge. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. you get everyone out then you take my brother and run get him back to where it's safe come on we have to hurry Clementine? holy fuck oh my god are you okay he doesn't look hurt i uh, yeah i'm all right we're all right take care of Louis first he's he's in rough shape I'll unlock the other cell. 
You don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Lewis. Shit. What the fuck are you doing? Don't no. fucking point that at me. You're invited. Don't have me. Mini, let us go. No. Shit. Traya. Broke his spirit, didn't they? Bastards. What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't. They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. What? Just, uh, he kept fucking talking. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Lewis. <laughs> I'll make these bastards pay for this. I promise you, Lewis. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. you doing don't I promise you it ain't worth it step back she awake yes ma'am good I'll take it from here bitch <laughs> Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. 
Back up. Shit. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? Hmm. The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. Kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. He 
clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Uh. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Easy. Stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Yes! Oh, nice. Oh. Stop! That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. <laughs> Bang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Manure. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boy. Oh, shit. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who Traitor. are you? Traitor. Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you, for Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance, I know. I know. I wish you didn't hear that. But Sophie's dead. I haven't. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Stab her. Go on. Stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say. Now you can kick her run a face. All of you. Nice. Now stab her. You. Shit. Oh come on. <gasps> Fuck that one up, didn't I? Let you get them all killed. Did I or not? I don't know. Maybe not. Fucking kill her, go on. I can't let her leave. Shit. Nice. Come on, we have to go. I can't. I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Club, come on. We have to get the hell out of here. Go. I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You What's will. my alert? Can't go your tongue. Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Fucking won't. 
You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Come Kyle. one more, you can even share a room. Docks. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. In the herd. Oh shit. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath? Fucking shoot Lily. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or or else. <gasps> Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Crazy bitch. Go on, do it. <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Looks Shit. Like you're not a soldier either. <gasps> don't. No. Yes. Yes, AJ. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, come on, I pressed it. Fuck, come on. Fuck you, there. Go on, AJ. Yes, AJ. <gasps> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Fuck it now. She's fucked. Chuck the gun to me and let me fucking shoot her. <gasps> oh shit! No! Um, what? Shit, the bomb! AJ! 
Fuck. Holy shit. Well, that's the end of part three. Cheers for watching. I am a poor pill